Okay, we're gonna make a little video here showing you how to mix up your nutrient solutions, your A and your B. The first thing you're gonna do is take, and if you wanna to go to Home Depot, you can get these lids that have screw on tops. I think they're really convenient. You gotta push or hammer on the ring to start with. And uh, sometimes you gotta muscle it just a little bit, but it's not too bad. You just gotta put your weight behind it. And then you just screw the lid on. It makes it a lot easier than trying to pry a lid off and pound it on every time you want to get some nutrient solution. So for six or seven bucks, these things are really worth it. You might even start handling them and putting them on the website, but for right now, you can probably just go to Home Depot and pick them up. You also want to make sure to keep your buckets of nutrient concentrate out of the sun. You want to put them in a dark place, out of direct sunlight. Because if you don't, it will degrade the actual nutrient solution. A black bucket would be nice, but uh, definitely want to keep that out of the sun so it doesn't get hot. Okay, so there you got your lids. We'll show one more real quick. That one he was almost able to just snap on by hand. Okay, there's some of our vertical hydroponic gardens. There's the nutrient tank and my reverse osmosis holding tank. I'll show you the reverse osmosis in a little bit. All right, the first thing you want to do is get some side cutters or little dikes and actually clip your tie strap off. If you take a knife, you got to be careful not to cut the bag and spill it all over. Now you have to mix the whole bag of nutrient into the five gallons. You can't mix just part of the bag. You have to mix the whole thing up first. So when you pour it in there, make sure you get every bit of it in there too. Shake it out really good. <clears throat> Don't get anything cross-contaminated into the other bucket as well. Let's move that away so there's no way that we can get any of part A into part B. If you do, the nutrient mixture will turn to concrete. And that's not good. You really don't want that. So here's our second bag, our B, which is our calcium nitrate and a few other things. This will dissolve a little bit easier than part A. So we'll pour every bit of that in there. Don't want to waste any. And then get something to stir up your solution. You can use a one by four or stainless steel spoon, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then like my wife says, mixy mixy. Try not to spill it all over the porch. That's why I don't fill it up all the way. I fill it up about 90% of the way. Now, when you do your second one, make sure you rinse your mixing paddle up. Make sure you rinse it off really well so you don't get any part A into part B. Very, very important. And then just stir that one up and mix it really well. Okay, now we're going to get some of our clean water, our RO, reverse osmosis water, and we're going to top off each one of the buckets. We're going to do this so we have an exact measurement every time. So next time we mix it up, we'll have the same exact concentration. So once we figure out how much we need to put into our 55-gallon drum or our 55-gallon garbage can, uh, it'll be the same every time. So it's real important to Make sure you get it to the same mark. Now here we're mixing up two different blends. Uh, the first two buckets are the Universal Grow blend formula. The second one is our uh, uh, the Big Bloom formula. The Bloom formula is for anything that has flowers like your fruits, strawberries, tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, peppers, and things like that, as well as flowers. The other first two buckets are our universal grow blend, so they're used for stuff like lettuce and kale, anything, any vegetative, any vegetative plant that, you know, uh, doesn't flower. You can also use the universal grow in the first stage of fruiting plants, just to get them up quick, like tomatoes. You can go ahead and use it until your tomatoes actually start setting fruit. And once they do, and the first tomato starts to turn red, then switch over to the Big Bloom formula. Okay, and we're going to put our lids on everything so everything's sealed up really good. 
And as we can see, we've got part A, that's our universal growth formula, and part B, and then the universal bloom formula, part A and part B. And make sure you label your buckets really well so you know what's what. Now here's our reverse osmosis system. There's the power supply for the high pressure water pump. My well doesn't produce enough water, so I use a CDP. Uh, I think it's a 5800 or 8800. It produces about 80 pounds of pressure. There's my little air pump with an air stone. And there's the high pressure relay to cut the pump off whenever the float shuts off and your container gets full. Here you'll see the hydrologic. It's the Stealth 200. This puts out 200 gallons of reverse osmosis a day as long as you've got the right pressure. Now see, we're up to about 72 pounds of pressure, which is great because my well will only produce about 45 to 50 pounds. And so I only get half that amount per day. There's a little float. You can see the water coming out from the pump. Whenever I cut the float off, it actually automatically cuts the water pump off. So it's not running all the time. I also have a uh, submersible pump here that I can use to transfer the water to any vessel that I want. And I can stick this whole thing into the drum, turn that valve on, and it actually causes a whirlpool effect so that it swirls the water in the drum and mixes up the fertilizer really, really well. Kind of nice to have that. Make sure you also put an air stone in each one of your nutrient reservoirs to give it the oxygen content that it really needs. Oh, and one last thing before it goes, very important. Um, when you mix up your nutrients, I, I let it sit for a few hours and I go back and I stir it up one more time. After I stir it up, I don't stir it anymore. There are some carriers that are in the powder that will actually settle out and become sediment in the bottom of your five gallon buckets or containers. Don't mix this up again. So once you mix it the first time, let it sit for a few hours, mix it one more time, and then let it settle. When you go to get your concentrate out and put in your main nutrient tank, so as long as you don't stir it back up again, you'll be pulling out pure nutrient and it'll keep your main tank really clean. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.